Joe's lobster bisque is simmering and she's put her spaghetti on to cook. Back to Mark's lobster with grapefruit butter. He drains and lightly crushes his new potatoes before putting roughly chopped spring onions on to fry in olive oil. Just a light sizzle, little touch of salt in at the stage. Turn that heat down. And now the lobster. So, the tail. Juicy, isn't it? It's amazing. Cut that in half. Nicely. Now, this is all good stuff. This is the coral, so that's all edible. Yeah. That's delicious. So we'll just keep that. Aww, you've keep made a love heart. Lo love hearts. And I'm going to keep one claw for the top for presentation. Now, as you saw earlier, we took all the bone or membrane yeah. or whatever out of the middle. Um, so that's going to chop nicely. And we'll chop through that. Chop up all these knuckles, as you call them. And you don't want to chop them up too finely. You want nice sort of chunks in there. Yeah. So now we have our... Uh, Spring onion softening there. Right, now we're going to add our um, potatoes in. There we'll so go is this in. just to warm them through? Are you serving it as Absolutely. a warm, warm yeah. salad, not yeah. as hot, hot? So you really just want to toss that and coat that into the oil and get the flavour in there. And a little touch of salt, touch of pepper. Mark then adds the zest and juice of a lemon, the chopped lobster meat, oil and coriander to the pan to warm through before starting to assemble his classic lobster dish. Right, so that's my beautiful um, warm potato salad. I'm going to plate up. So oh, here we go. Fancy ring. Well, do you think, you, you know, if you're having a, a meal for two, you want to impress someone? So, um, obviously, when you're dressing up, make sure you go through and you give yourself all the extra lobster, and then you just say, oh, can't believe it. But you want to pile that up. So we put this in here, just, and we don't want to press it down. People get confused when they use, put food in rings, that mm. you have to press, press it, it in. Down. It's just really just to hold it. Now, lobster. Just drizzle a touch of oil over, just to give it a bit of a sort of a shine, really. And then season that nicely as well. And because it's room temperature, you don't need to overcook it and overheat it, really. It looks really pretty. Mark tops his lobster with a generous disc of grapefruit butter. He'll grill his dish just before serving. Back to Joe's lobster bisque, which is ready for the next stage. So then just squeeze out all of the juice from that lovely lobster shell and those vegetables to make sure you really extract as much flavour as possible from it. And then I've just got some cream to go in. I'm not going to go too overboard at the moment because you can always add to it. Yeah. Sort of and you want the nice... flavour of the lobster as opposed yeah. to the cream, don't you? Yeah. A pinch of salt. Does it smells so good. I'm not going to put pepper into this. No. Because I'm going to use some chilli um, in a minute. So just want to bring that up to the simmer. So yeah, have a, have a taste. I might have some more cream in a minute, but uh, bring that to the simmer. Mm. And God, then... Just pure lobster. Pure lobster. It's lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really good. And then I've got my lobster meat. Yep. So I'm going to just take the body of the lobster and cut it into sort of medallions, I suppose. Nothing too huge, because I think when you're eating but, spaghetti... But nice chunks, though. These are the knuckles, which are already fairly small. And then yep. just take the legs. Mm. So there's all the meat. Lovely. Let's pop some olive oil into another pan. Nice size uh, lobster. That's a generous amount of meat there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's just, I mean, this is a great way of making one lobster Stretch. go further, I suppose. Pop that into my pan just to start to heat it up and yep. at the same time I'm actually going to put some chilli and garlic. This Lovely. is where you've got to be a little bit careful with the chilli yep. and hope that the chilli aren't Not too hot. Not if you're cooking for me. <laughs> but you've left the seeds in as well, which is brilliant. I think I left fantastic. the seeds in, so I've taken half a chilli and I've left the seeds in yep. half of it. Right. But if it's too much, then you're just going to kill the flavour of the lobster, I think. Joe then adds diced, skinned and de-seeded tomatoes and the creamy bisque sauce to the pan, followed by the cooked spaghetti and some finely chopped basil. And as Mark's lobster goes under the grill, both dishes are almost ready to serve. The thing is, I have, you know, this is it's all about a special meal for two, but it's quite, quite romantic having spaghetti. You get in a bit of a mess with it. And as a final touch, Joe adds the fennel crisps to garnish. There it is, my perfect classic lobster spaghetti with fennel crisps. Wow. And that is my perfect classic lobster with crushed new potatoes and um, pink grapefruit butter. Very nice. <laughs> Easier done than you <laughs> said. Time for Joe and Mark to find out which classic lobster is perfect. Feeling nervous. Right. Lobster spaghetti with fennel crisps. One. Lobster with grapefruit butter and crushed potatoes. Two. Funnily enough, two. Oh. It's great. Well done. The judges were impressed by Joe's luxurious lobster spaghetti and loved its traditional flavours, but they were blown away by the light citrus zing of Mark's lobster with grapefruit butter, and for them it was the perfect twist on a classic dish. <laughs> <laughs>